When Fukushima Daiichi blew up, many of us in Tokyo were scared and wondering what was going to happen. Some of us in Tokyo Hackerspace decided we weren't going to wait around and we were going to go out and actively、uh, measure the radiation on our own. There wasn't a lot of time and we had a limited number of Geiger counters. We met up with one of the truck drivers driving rescue supplies up to the tsunami area. So we asked him if he could、uh, take, our, take our Geiger counter and take pictures of the readings as he went up to northern Japan. We also asked other groups that were heading up to the tsunami region to take our Geiger counters and take pictures of the readings as they went up. Th- these are some of the pictures that we got back. Normal background radiation levels before、uh, Fukushima blew up in Japan were roughly 0.05 microsieverts per hour. You can see from these pictures, though, that、uh, the rescue crews that were going up were going through, had to go through、uh, radiation fields that were roughly、uh, 30 times the normal levels. Once we had a rough understanding of what the radiation levels were, then we decided that we had to take our remaining Geiger counters and make full use of them. We only had about four Geiger counters, and in order to maximize the use, then we decided that we would、uh, attach GPS modules and geotag the ra- radiation readings. Our initial prototype used a PC, a GPS module, a Geiger counter, and some custom software we wrote. Once we were able to verify that we could log the data correctly, then we quickly had to figure out how to、uh, scale it up. We had to shrink the hardware, decrease the cost, and have it so that we could mount it on cars. What we did is we ended up using an Arduino because we could rapidly prototype using that platform. And、uh, we designed a custom Arduino shield which had a GPS, an SD card, and also an interface for a Geiger counter. Once we had the hardware going, then we basically attached it to anything that moved. That way we could collect uh, geotagged uh, radiation data. And so we had it attached to taxis,、uh, bicycles, cars, people, just anything. While we were collecting data, we also had to figure out how to store, visualize, and distribute it on the back end. We tried a lot of different things, but we ended up using、uh, a MySQL database and also Google Fusion Tables and Google Maps in order to visualize. In parallel with the mobile measurements, we were also working to build a fixed sensor network of Geiger counters around Fukushima and also around Japan. This sensor network updates every minute with real time radiation data, and that data gets sent to, the in- to multiple servers on the internet. We call this the fixed sensor network, and each sensor node is also using an Arduino. Along with a custom shield developed、uh, at Tokyo Hackerspace. The mobile sensor network gives us good geographical coverage, but the fixed sensor network allows us to monitor real time radiation levels as well as any change in those levels. It also gives us a record of the levels and acts as a watchdog in case there is any new releases from Fukushima or any other,、uh, any other sources. The original fixed sensor project started with、uh, Tokyo Hackerspace and Safecast, but has since expanded to include Keio University. Uh, SoftBank, Yahoo, and a couple of other、uh, groups. For the fixed sensor project, we currently have over 300 nodes located across Japan, and hopefully this year we'll be able to expand that to 1,000. In conclusion, I'd just like to say thank you to the Arduino team for making such an excellent platform. It allowed us to get up and running very quickly and gave a lot of people in Japan peace of mind.